Hi guys, Palm at Car Audio and welcome back to the channel. We booked this guy in a few months ago. Lovely M4 convertible F83 behind me here, which we have bagged. Now the customer came in and he wanted his car lowered. At the same time, he wanted the best drive quality, show-stopping stance, and he also wanted the convenience of getting into his driveway because even at stock height, he scraped his front splitter. So the only way to go with this particular vehicle was to put it on air suspension and we have used our number one preferred brand, Airlift Performance. Having had an FATM3 myself for uh, over six years on air suspension, I know exactly how well these cars drive handle and obviously the convenience factors that come along with it and i'll be honest with you it's probably the best thing this guy is ever going to do to this car because not only does it look good it also drives fantastic so we've been super busy i've had two guys on this car this week aman and jay so i'm just going to call aman in have a quick conversation about what's been done in the boot and what the customer's requirements were you good what's happening chilling this is what your third air job since you've been here now fourth Fourth already? Yeah. Bloody hell. How did this job go? This car was relatively straightforward because yep. obviously it's an off the shelf kit versus yep. a complete custom one off. So in terms of fitting, a lot easier, a lot more straightforward. So it's it's a bit of, you know, when you have adjustable shocks, it's a yep. bit of a minefield getting the, the heights right because you've got to couple that up. So it's riding at the right pressure for optimum comfort yep. and performance. Yep. So that can always be little bit of a kind of take the wheel back off readjust the shock unfortunately so yeah, yeah. but um, i guess once you've done a few of them you get you, used to it yeah yeah it's like jay knows on a mark 7 golf how um, how high to have the strut because he's done a few now that's so it. and at the end of the day it comes down to the customer's requirements if yeah. they want the car to just kind of ride at a standard kind of height yeah but then have the ability to air out then we'll adjust the shock lengths so that it's comfy at that height yeah if the customer wants the car to be absolutely decked while driving it and yeah. then to obviously have the ability to air up a little bit more yeah um, then again we can cater towards that but then okay well i think this is um sitting really well actually all four wheels are tucking this is running about 40 psi at normal drive height yeah on the front. it's about 40 and about 100 ish um at the back yeah just the only of... reason it's 100 is because on these they use a mini bellow right yeah That's they use a mini bellow yeah. and then on top of that because it's a hard top convertible yeah it is a significant amount of weight at the back. Um, so yeah, it's just obviously counter that. Obviously being a convertible, boot space is always a little bit tighter than normal. Yep. So let's have a look at how yep. we've got around that. So in terms of boot space, customer wanted a real nice, clean, simple build. Yeah. Obviously due to the fact that there's not much room under the boot floor on this. Uh, okay, so which you, you can see. see you but can it see. blends in nicely because yeah. we used a black tank. Yep. And we also need to bear in mind that the load cover has to come down. Has to come down if you're putting the hood down. That's exactly yeah. it. To make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, we've gone for a seamless tank yep. versus a normal kind of aluminium tank. So generally looks a lot nicer. As you guys can all see, all the all the uh, air components, the compressor, the manifold is all mounted neatly out of sight. And um, it's, you've got your drain valve here, which the customer can just unloop, uh, drain the tank or do a manual fill on the tank if his compressor ever goes down, which is a very, very rare occasion. And then obviously when you pop the floor back in, it all almost looks OEM, right? Yeah, literally. And he's still got plenty of boot space. Well, not plenty, but enough boot space for an overnight bag. I've set up three drive ride heights, yeah. and then the fourth preset is your air out. The reason for doing the three drive ride heights is because I've done your everyday kind of general ride height that everyone's happy to use. Yeah. And then a raised one in case of things like speed humps and stuff like that or any obstacles in car parks. And then a low drive height, which can be used on things like motorways and stuff when your wheel is always tracking straight. It That's just, the palm drive height, right? Yeah, it just gives you a chance to get the car low. It makes it a little bit more comfy due to the less, the, the lowered bag pressures. Um, and it looks cool as You've got the highest drive height there to get over obstacles and stuff like that. Um, then you've got your everyday regular drive height, which is there. Um, it's just a nice tire gap all the way around. The car looks pretty. It's a little bit lower than stock. Then you have your motorway drive height, which is just a little bit lower. And again, the customer has full flexibility. He can adjust them whenever, they, whenever he wants. And then obviously we can slap the car back again and it's decked. 
So yeah, there's a lot of flexibility there. And again, they're fully customizable. You can change the presets whenever you like. The, adjustability. the adjustability, flexibility, the yeah. convenience. It's just, That's it. yeah. Yeah. It's always, it's always a win-win situation when it comes to air. Well, that's another one in the bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. And guys, remember, like, share, and subscribe so that you can carry on watching all of our awesome content. We've got a lot more to come. But for me, for now, I'm gonna go and soak up some sun and top up on my vitamin D. And I'll catch you in the next episode.